The site of Bet Lehi is located about 17 miles uh, southwest of uh, Jerusalem, with lots of ruins for many, many periods of time. We started here exactly five years ago, October 2005, and a few hours after we started the excavations over there, we found a shaft uh, carved in the rock that led into a subterranean tunnel. I went down and we found one of the best examples of Hellenistic uh, olive press, well preserved with all the installations uh, inside waiting to be excavated. I came over here in 2006 and at that time they were looking for sponsors and for people to help them and I said I would like to help them. You know sometimes you have to go with just your gut feelings and that's when I went ahead and decided that I wanted to be part of it and set up the foundation. No, 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 the tail. We have also teamed with Utah Valley University out of Orem, Utah. We've teamed with them through their engineering, computer, graphics design, media groups that are over here right now surveying, uh, GPSing, that will help us find a lot of underground places we don't have, help us map the places we do have. People will be able to go on the internet and they'll be able to take a virtual tour as a result of the things that Utah Valley University is doing right now. They are really using state-of-the-art technology to create a site that will really create a virtual world uh, for people to see dating back, who knows, perhaps 2,000 years ago. Uh, the experience here at Beit Lehi is absolutely priceless. Um, but you come to a project like this and it brings things to life. This is surveying at its best. The best way to teach a student about mapping a site is not talk about it in the front of a classroom, but to take them out on a site and teach them. Now, we do that in our program, but we usually don't do it in Jerusalem. That's what makes this very unique. You know, the, uh, the EGDT drafting program here is very diverse. Uh, I came into the programming really wanting to do the architect type stuff, and uh, because of the diversity of the program here, uh, I've actually leaned away from the architecture and pursuing civil now. It's a once in a lifetime experience. In this type of a setting, to do this type of a project, to say I was participating in an archeological dig for the possibility of something that's 2,000 years old or older with its students and staff from a university to actually get college credit for it. It's a, personally, it's an interesting experience. It's obviously a great thing for the university to be able to do it, but it's a, it's a learning and working experience. It's, you know, while we learn, we get to work. There's no better combination. UVU has um, the right knowledge to survey the site uh, with uh, very modern technology that we don't have here uh, in Israel. You see it there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense if you can do that now. Right now, we're just getting the initial tripod set up to set the, get the scanner in place setting some control, that way we can scan down to the bottom to openings of all the column, columbariums, each different facility, every opening in the above ground. And there's, I mean, it's just, it's level, there's no stones or anything else, so you can just go down. Four. Yeah, 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 just yeah I know, I just, he's gonna this is a, a 3D scanner, what this will do is it will scan a 360 degree turn all the way around and then a 270 degree turn vertical. Yeah, right now we are setting up a two target pole which has to do with the scanner and what the scanner does is it picks up these points that um, are on a reflective, kind of like a, yeah, they're a reflective target and it needs at least two points to be able to tie the, the image and scan that it does together. And so oh, really we're, we're setting it up straight down from the scanner so that as we enter the tunnel, or enter, enter the bathhouse and in there, 
that we have tie points that we can use, you know, to tie all the scans together and get one big three-dimensional image. I'd like to get up inside of there. Does that little tunnel in the back side of the give it to you? It doesn't just give us measurable points, but it takes uh, pictures and applies color to those points. So it creates a 3D model. It ties everything together, both above and underground. So one of my favorite places on the site was the Olive Press that was turned into a quarry. And what we did with it while we were here, so we took a 3D scanner and we took an image of it from the inside with millions of points. And what we'll do is we'll turn that around so basically you can be on a computer and you can pretend like you're almost walking through there digitally. And with that, it tells you the elevations, tells you how far distance is. So for future references and for civil side, civil engineering side, you can know exactly structurally how it is. I was amazed to see how they put their 3D scanner inside the olive press and in five minutes it scanned the entire installations. And for us it's a big uh, progress at the site. Uh, today is our first day of tourism. Uh, we uh, did some work out of the archaeology site but today we actually just get to go do some of the tourist type stuff. Uh, we started the day off by visiting the Wailing Wall and then we just kind of went to the Temple Mount after that and it was a pretty cool experience. We got right up next to the Dome of the Rock. Later in the day, we were able to go underneath the Wailing Wall with Oren Gutfeld. Again, he's the head archeologist at the site that we're working at. That's not something that normal tourists get to do. Uh, we kind of have the VIP card and uh, it was just great. Um, you know, I thought we were gonna be doing a, a lot of work and we did get a lot of solid work done at the archeology span site, but I wasn't under the impression we'd get to do so much tourism type stuff. And you know, we had the opportunity to do some swimming in the ocean. I actually personally got to go scuba diving with some local Israeli guys. And uh, it was just great. Probably the best thing that I learned from this trip is that the things that I'm learning in the drafting program, I mean, they're right on with what the industry is doing. I'm taking home a uh, definite sense of achievement through learning and work together. I think that this has been an amazing experience of being able to apply the things that we've been learning in school. And when it becomes a real world situation, it, it makes it important and um, it makes it usable and special, not just to us, but to so many people. It seems that the students from uh, UVU knows the work very, very well. And with the help and the assistance of the, the faculty members who came uh, with them over here to the site, uh, we achieved uh, very, very good results. You know, we got out on site, our professors, they, they definitely walk the walk and they're out there doing the work with us side by side. I think UVU's really opened up a lot of opportunities for me. You know, I see so many local companies coming to UVU saying, hey, we, uh, we'd like a group of your students to come help out with this project. The, the hard work paid off. I know I'll be able to put this onto a resume and it will help down the road on a future resume to be able to say, I traveled overseas and worked on a project over there. You know, there's a reason they came to UVU to do this Israel project. And I'm happy that I'm part of it. And with the help of UVU, we will achieve much better um, results uh, for our analysis and to be published in the final report of the excavations. We've only scratched the surface of what we can do. We think in the years ahead uh, that it will be a magnificent opportunity for students to learn as well as to develop and bring new technologies to archaeology here in Israel.